Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially from the perspective of communication success and motivation. In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you what's in store for those born with a monkey and the rooster within their Ba Zi charts. Now, for monkey, it's rank 6 in the average group, and the rooster is rank 8 in the average group. There are comments that mention that if rooster is the animal that combines with dragon, why is it ranked in the average group and not in the tops? So watch out more in the next segment to find out why this is the case. Before I go on to the next segment, I'll also like to highlight that the system that I'm utilizing in my Ba Zi calculator that I'm pointing to the link here, bazicalculator.janetyong.com is based on the solar system which is similar to that of the feng shui system where we look at the starting of a new year either on the 3rd or the 4th of February each year whereas traditionally when we look at animal horoscopes we're utilizing the lunar calendar which usually is the start of a Chinese new year so that's the key difference and why there are differences if you plot your chart especially if you are born in January or early February so without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more. Hi, welcome to this segment. For those who have subscribed, thank you and welcome back. For those who are brand new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you are already very familiar with Ba Zi, or you have been on my channel for some time and already understand the Ba Zi charts, what are the different animal horoscopes, please go straight to the video description where I have the timestamps for the 2024 forecast for those born with the monkey and rooster within their charts. Now for those who are brand new to Ba Zi, I would like to highlight to you that if you are new and only looking for the year of birth that you are born in terms of the animal horoscope, then you're only looking at 12.5% of the animal horoscope sign. As you can see in this chart itself, a person has a year animal, a month animal, a day animal, and an hour animal. And why is this the case? It's because traditionally in Chinese calendar, instead of using the Gregorian dates of January, February, March, it's depicted in Chinese in terms of animal horoscope. So every Chinese New Year is always the month of tiger, and therefore you have a animal horoscope for the day as well as an animal horoscope. For the hour for each of us it can be up to four animal horoscopes and if you do not know how to get it please go to this link bazicalculator.janetyong.com or scan this qr code that i'm showing here to download your bazi chart so what does each of these animals within the different pillars then mean for us for the animal horoscope that it's actually within the year basically when you are reading traditionally, it is about what's happening in your bigger company environment, bigger industry environment, or your relationship and interaction with your social circle of friends or grandparents. Or from a work perspective, it could be your boss's boss. Now, if it is the month, the animal that you are looking at and you're concerned about career, then this is the animal sign in terms of forecast for 2024 that you should be looking at because these animal signs here tells you about your career mindset, your immediate department, your relationship and interaction at work with your immediate boss, as well as your parents at home. What about the day? The day generally represents, in terms of the animal horoscope sign, what you will feel for this year, as well as your interaction and relationship with your spouse, with your partner, with your siblings, as well as colleagues and peers. And for the hour itself, the animal horoscope basically looks at our action and therefore the investment luck. So if you want to know how you will do in the year 2024 in terms of investment luck, look at the animal sign in the hour branch. It also depicts the interaction and relationship that you will have with your subordinates, people younger than you, and if you are a parent, your relationship with your children as well. So let's take a look now at 
what's in store for those born with the monkey within their charts. You can see from this slide here, the monkey is situated in the southwest sector. And let's take a look at how it is ranked in the 2024 animal race. It is ranked the sixth in the average group. So average is actually pretty good. Basically, it's a mixture of auspicious and inauspicious star. So let's take a look at what other auspicious star. The auspicious star is that of three stages. Three stages is great for those who are focused on career, especially if you have monkey within the month branch. What does these three stages mean? It generally means the ability to have recognition, promotion luck, increased responsibilities, and with it, of course, increased revenue and income. So if you have the monkey within your chart, remember to step up because that's how you will get recognized, be promoted as well as given the additional responsibility such that you have additional income. And this is the case generally because you also have the intelligent star. So the intelligent star is about the ability to solve problems, utilizing your creativity and innovative abilities. And of course, this will be a good year if you would like to do further learning, especially right now with period nine, it is a lifetime of learning itself. This will be a great year for you to sign up for that course, to up your skill sets, as well as your competency level, especially in the area that you're passionate about. Now, what about the inauspicious star? If the inauspicious star has what we call the official charm, the five goals and the misjudgment, it generally will mean that maybe you make a mistake, especially when you're trying to solve certain problems or you step on the wrong foot, got into the wrong procedure, sign the wrong kind of documents, therefore causing some disagreements, especially from a legal or people relationship perspective. So this is one year that you have to be careful. Although you will do well in your career, you have the intelligence and all those good stars, be also prudent such that you do not get into the wrong side of the law or sign the wrong documents or be on the wrong side of the people relationship. Now, let's take a look at what does it mean by having the monkey within the individual pillars of your Basel chart. If you have the monkey within the year, then generally speaking, your bigger company environment, your bigger industry environment will be recognized and therefore be placed in a position where they will have to utilize the company's innovative and creative abilities. So if you are actually engage in a role that helps in terms of helping people solve problems, utilizing your intelligence and creativity, you will definitely get recognition. The year also represents your social circle of friends. So probably this will be a year where you can either get your social circle of friends to help you solve some of the problems that you encounter as well. If you have the monkey within the month, then congratulations. This is where you will see recognition this year. And especially if you step up and utilize your intelligence, creativity to do well. Of course, this will be a great year for you to do further learning. If you have the monkey within the day, then generally what it means is your spouse, your peer or your colleagues would be given the responsibility and recognition. And of course, if it's your spouse, then it will be your role to support them so that they will do well. However, because of the negative stars of the official charm and misjudgment, you need to be careful in terms of your relationship so that you don't get on the wrong side as well. Then if you look at the monkey within the hour, then it is your action in terms of solving other people's problems that will gain you the recognition. And obviously, because the hour pillar stands for the action pillar and investment pillar, if you are signing and making that plunge in terms of investment, be a little bit careful because of the negative stars within your chart. The monkey actually does have a combination relationship with the dragon. Therefore, depending on where the monkey is situated within your Batsu chart itself, it will generally mean good relationship with your boss's boss, your grandparents, if the monkey is within the year, it will be with your boss, your mentor, your parents, if the monkey is within your month, and if it is actually the monkey within the day, then obviously good relationship with your spouse, your peers, your siblings, and if it is within the hour, you'll be with your subordinates. 
people younger than you as well as your children. Now, the other thing I'd like to highlight about the monkey is the monkey's horoscope palace is within the southwest. So great news for you because within the southwest palace itself, it is the first year where the annual nine star will be. And nine star is basically the current period star where if you activate it and you utilize the energies that's within your horoscope palace, you will see maximum benefit, especially if it has to do with the fire element of going online, e-commerce, something to do with creativity, entertainment. So if you like to find out what's period nine all about, please remember to click on this link that I'm showing here such that you will watch the relevant videos in my period nine video series that I have on my YouTube channel itself. Now let's move on to those born with the rooster. Now there have been comments as to why if rooster is a combination animal with the dragon, why is it not ranked higher? So let's take a look at where it is ranked currently within my animal horoscope race. Now in the, my animal horoscope race, it is actually ranked 8. It is still within the average group, which is still pretty good. Usually, the animal signs that are ranked within the average group basically have a mixture of both good and not so good stars or what we call the auspicious and not so auspicious stars. So you have to handle both sides itself. So in terms of the rooster, the auspicious stars are basically that of the Yue De, Nobleman as well as the Earth Relief star. What are these two stars? These two stars are basically problem-solving stars. Yue the Nobleman is about helping people resolve their problems, especially from a relationship perspective. Earth Relief it's about solving problems as well. Therefore, if you are willing to step up this year, it doesn't mean that even if you are ranked 8, you will not do well. You will definitely do well, but from the perspective of working harder, utilizing your intelligence to solve problems for other people. However, there are a couple of inauspicious stars that you need to be aware of. And what are these stars? You have the Salty Pool star. Salty Pool star basically is a negative star from a traditional perspective. But from my perspective, it depends on how you utilize the Salty Pool star. The Salty Pool star, it's very similar to a Peach Blossom star or a Good Relationship star, but a bit to the extreme. So what does it mean? Basically, you have the attraction to the opposite gender, but if you are not careful in terms of handling the relationship, then it can become a troublesome relationship. That's what it means by Salty Pool. However, if your role is on the front line or you are quite active on social media, you're an influencer, you're utilizing social media to basically increase your brand as well as recognition, then the Salty Pool style will work to your advantage so long as you do not take it to the extreme. Then you have the Dev Charm and Indulgent style. Dev Charm is really about having worked too hard because you exhaust your energy trying to help people solve their problems and therefore from a health perspective that can be an issue especially because your horoscope palace is in the west and in the new year there is the misfortune star within your chart and then there is the indulgence star indulgence star is really about indulging yourself sometimes overspending so this is one year that you do need to watch your spending however if this spending is making you up your skill level, up your image to your advantage in the longer term, as well as after you've worked hard, you do basically want to reward yourself. I think go for it. The only thing is just watch your expenses such that you do not overspend. Let's take a look at the rooster if it is within the different pillars of your Vata chart. If it is within the year, then generally what you're seeing is the company that you're in, the industry that you're in, your company's role is about solving other people's problem. Isn't that great? Especially if you're in the role that has the ability to help people solve problem as well. If the rooster is within your mind, then it's great news for you because then you'll be utilizing your intelligence and creativity to help people solve problem. And on top of that, with the you at the Nobleman Star, you are able to ask and there will be people who will be willing to help you, be it your boss, your parents, or within your immediate department. Then if you look at the rooster within the day itself, this is where maybe your spouse, your peers, 
will be doing well from a career perspective. However, from a relationship perspective, just be a little bit careful such that you do not take it to the extreme level itself, especially with the salty pool star. Now, when you have the rooster within the hour, then congratulations from the perspective. If you are looking at increasing followers, then this will be a year with the aid of the salty pool star. You have an increase in followers. Again, do not take it to the extreme. And from an action perspective, because you have the you at the Nobleman star as well as the Earth Relief star, you will be placed in a position to help people solve problems. But at the same time, do not try to do everything on your own. Do try to get other people's help because you do have Nobleman's luck and then you will not fall ill. And from the health perspective, generally speaking, wherever it is within your chart, do take care, especially in the next slide, I will share about what it means by having the misfortune star within your horoscope palace. Now, let's talk a little bit about the rooster combination with the dragon in this year. Now, the rooster can appear in the four pillars, right? So if you have the rooster within the year, then with the combination of the dragon, then you generally will have good relationship and helpful people, especially with the Yueta Nobleman star from a social circle of friends perspective or as well as with the industry your boss's boss if you are looking at the rooster within the month then it will be a combination especially if it in terms of metal is your wealth element then you will see additional wealth this year for you and then you have great relationship with your immediate boss or parents then if you have the rooster within the day then it's actually really talking about having great relationship with your spouse in the new year or with your siblings and if you have the rooster within the hour then it has to do with good relationship with your children your subordinates people younger than you and because the hour is also your action pillar if you basically take the relevant actions you build relationship with the opposite party that you're trying to help and if the hour pillar in terms of the investment pillar with the rooster and dragon combination forming metal if metal is your wealth element then congrats you will likely see wealth in this new year but do be prudent because you do have the indulgence star don't let whatever that comes in go straight out as well so let's take a look at where the rooster is positioned like i mentioned it is positioned in the west palace and in the new year the most feared star the misfortune fire yellow star is in the west palace so if you do have the rooster within your chart please be careful do not do knocking drooling renovation in the west of your home or the other afflicted sectors i have left the link to the 2024 feng shui auspicious and inauspicious sector in the video description or do watch my video coming up by end January or early February on 2024 Feng Shui forecast series itself. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode and my sharing and I look forward to seeing you next week where I'll share the 2024 forecast for those born with the dog and the pig within their Bazi charts. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.